Hi and welcome back. So I occasionally get the odd comment on the channel about David Sinclair being a snake oil salesman. They've grown recently since the company he advises for lobbied the FDA to have NMN removed from the supplement market. And I still get the occasional comment about uh, NMN being good for mice, but you're not a mouse, are you? Uh, which four years ago when David Sinclair hit the scene on the Joe Rogan podcast, I think had some merit. But now four years later, when lots of trials have been conducted on humans, it shows a certain level of ignorance. What I've done is consolidated all of the human trials for people who have taken NMN as a supplement and also what the results were. Enough waffling off me, let's jump in and let's see what these trials and the results have got to offer. The first study conducted in February 2020, link in the description below, was a trial conducted in Japan that evaluated the safety of NMN in humans. The cohort and study details are participants, there were 10 healthy men, it was a single arm non-randomized trial that lasted for 12 weeks and it was a single oral administration of either 100, 250 or 500 milligrams. These are the results. Please feel free to pause the video and read them at your leisure. But in summary, the trial showed that NMN caused no adverse health concerns or significant clinical symptoms or changes in heart rate, blood pressure, oxygen saturation, body temperature, or the results of an eye test and also a sleep test. The second study in July 2021 was a trial conducted to evaluate the endurance performance of middle-aged athletes by improving aerobic capacity. There were 48 young and middle-aged recreationally trained runners. It was a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled, four-arm clinical trial. It lasted for six weeks and the participants were split into four groups. The low dose group, 300 milligrams of NMN a day. The medium dose group, 600 milligrams per day. The high dose group, 1,200 milligrams a day. And there was a control group who took a placebo. These are the results of the second test. In summary, the trial showed aerobic capacity was increased and the higher the dose, the better the increase. In middle-aged runners, supplementing 600 to 1200 milligrams a day of NMN for six weeks increased aerobic capacity and the improvement is likely the result of enhanced O2 utilization of skeletal muscle. The higher the NMN doses, the better the improvements and there were no adverse health effects reported. The third study in February of 2022 was conducted to see if NMN increases NAD blood levels. There were 32 overweight or obese adults aged between 55 and 80. It was a double blind placebo control study that lasted for 14 days and it was with 1000 milligrams of MIB 626 NMN taken once daily, twice daily or a placebo. These are the results of that third study, but in summary, the trial showed that two 500 milligram MIB 626 tablets taken once or twice daily doubled NAD blood levels. So this trial was conducted by International Biotech, the company that lobbied the FDA to have NMN removed as a dietary supplement. I'm not sure how MIB 626 differs from the NMN sold as a supplement, but I do anecdotally know from Do Not Age and Renew By Science that individuals who take their NMN and who have tested their own NAD levels have seen similar results. The fourth study, also in February of 2022, was conducted to evaluate NMN's effects on sleep quality, fatigue and physical performance. 108 participants were divided into four groups, the NMN morning group, afternoon group and also a placebo morning and afternoon group. It was a randomized, double blind, placebo control study that lasted for 12 weeks and the dose was 250 milligrams of NMN or obviously the placebo. These are the results of that fourth study, but in summary, the trial showed that NMN supplementation enhanced both sleep quality and lower limb function. The fifth study in April of 2022 was a trial conducted to evaluate NMN's effects on NAD levels. There were 30 healthy subjects, 15 in the NMN group and 15 in the placebo group. It was a placebo controlled, randomized, double blind, parallel group trial that lasted for 12 weeks and the dose was 250 milligrams of NMN per day or the placebo. 
These are the results of that study. Again, feel free to pause the video and read them at your leisure. But in summary, the trial showed that 125 milligrams of NMN per day for 12 weeks nearly doubled blood NAD levels. The next study, also published in April of 2022, was a trial conducted to evaluate NMN's effects on metabolism in aged women with prediabetes. The cohort were pre-diabetic women aged between 55 and 75 who were also overweight. It was a randomized, placebo-controlled, double-blind trial that lasted for 10 weeks, and the dosage was 250 milligrams a day of NMN or the placebo. Here are the results of that study. In summary, NMN upregulated genes related to muscle remodeling and improved muscle insulin sensitivity and also structure. The seventh study, published in May of 2022, was a trial conducted to evaluate the efficacy and safety of Youth Evers NMN in middle-aged and older adults. 66 adults and elderly subjects took part in a multi-center, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study that lasted for 60 days. The dosage was two capsules of 150 milligrams of NMN or a starch powder as the placebo. Here are the results of that trial. In summary, NMN supplementation showed a 38% increase in blood NAD levels and a 6.5% improvement in the six minute walk test. A point to note here, although this was a scientific study, it was conducted by the NMN manufacturer. The eighth study was published again in May of 2022 and was conducted to see if NMN elevates blood NAD levels and alters muscle function in healthy older men. There were men aged 65 and older. The trial lasted for 12 weeks and the dosage was 250 milligrams a day of NMN. These are the results of that study. As always, feel free to pause the video and read them at your leisure. But in summary, 250 milligrams of NMN doubled blood NAD levels and improved walking speed and also grip strength. The next study was published in June of 2022 and was conducted to see if NMN improves the metabolism, hormone levels and the skin of postmenopausal women. The study group were postmenopausal women aged between 50 and 80. The study lasted for 12 weeks and the dosage was 300 milligrams per day. Here are the results. In summary, 300 milligrams of NMN improved sugar and cholesterol metabolism. It improved hormone levels and reduced glycation in the skin. The 10th study was published in July of 2022 and was conducted to see if NMN reduces blood vessel stiffness. The cohort were 36 healthy middle-aged participants. It lasted for 12 weeks. It was a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled, parallel group clinical trial. And the participants received one capsule of either 125 milligrams of NMN or a placebo. And this was twice a day. Here are the results. In summary, the NMN significantly reduced artery stiffness in middle-aged adults with higher than average weight and also higher than average blood glucose levels. The 11th study was published in August of 2022 and was conducted to evaluate the safety of high daily doses of NMN and that's 1,250 milligrams a day. There were 31 healthy adult men and women aged between 20 and 65. It was a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled parallel group study. It lasted for four weeks and the dose was 1,250 milligrams of NMN administered orally and this was once a day. These are the results of that study. In summary, there were no adverse events recorded or observed during the study period. The next study was published in September of 2022 and was conducted to evaluate the injecting of NMN to effectively reduce blood fat, triglyceride content and increased NAD levels. 
The cohort were 10 healthy individuals aged between 20 and 70. It lasted for one day and it was an intravenous injection of 300 milligrams of NMN. Here are the results of that study. But in summary, the NMN injections reduced blood fat by around 75% and boosted NAD by 20%. The 13th study, which was published in November of 2022, was a trial conducted to evaluate the effects of NMN on older patients with diabetes and impaired physical performance. There were 14 male patients with diabetes aged 65 and over with reduced grip strength or walking speed. It was a placebo-controlled, double-blinded study that lasted for 24 weeks and the dose was 250 milligrams of NMN per day. Here are the results of that study. In summary, NMN improved the prevalence of frailty and somewhat improved grip strength and walking speed. So the 14th study was published in December of 2022 and it was a trial conducted to evaluate the effects of NMN on blood NAD levels, physical endurance and blood biological age. There were 80 middle-aged healthy adult participants. It was a randomized, multi-center, double-blind, placebo-controlled, parallel group, dose-dependent clinical trial. It took 60 days and the dosage was either 300, 600 or 900 milligrams of NMN or a placebo. So these are the results of that particular study. Again, please feel free to pause the video and read this content in detail. But in summary, blood NAD concentrations were statistically significantly increased. Walking distance increased during the six minute walk test and the blood biological age increased in the placebo group, but it remained unchanged in the NMN group. So the penultimate study to date was published in February of 2023 and was a trial conducted to evaluate the effects of NMN on total LDL and non-HDL cholesterol, body weight and diastolic blood pressure. There were 30 overweight or obese adults, 45 years of age or older. They took part in a single center, randomized, double blind, placebo controlled, parallel group physiological study which lasted 28 days the dosage was two nmn tablets each containing 500 milligrams of nmn and that was taken twice daily these are the results but in summary nad levels increased ldl and hdl levels decreased body weight decreased and diastolic blood pressure also decreased. Again, this trial was conducted by International Biotech, the company that lobbied the FDA to have NMN removed as a dietary supplement. So this was the MIB 626 version of NMN, and I'm not sure how that differs from the NMN we can buy over the counter. The last study to be published again was published in February of 2023 and this trial was conducted to evaluate the effects of NMN on LDL, non-HDL cholesterol, body weight and diastolic blood pressure. Same as the last study but this time with a different cohort and a different daily dosage. There were 36 healthy middle-aged participants. They took part in a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled, parallel group clinical trial, lasted for 12 weeks, and this time the dose was 125 milligrams of NMN, or the placebo, and that was twice a day. These are the results of the last study. In summary, blood vessel stiffness was reduced and diastolic blood pressure decreased significantly.